Good morning. Today is Monday. Cheers. It is the first day that Emily is going to school here in Texas. What happened to my little box? And yesterday was uh, Sunday, so I did art with Emily, and she did some pour paint. This is her creation. Isn't that pretty? She wanted a cotton candy look, and I'm pretty sure she mailed it. Isn't that neat? So, um, I'm going to gloss over this. don't need that. Give that to me. Oh, you are something. Come here. Thank you. So, uh, my little puppy, Fang, had one of Emmy's hair ties. I'm going to go ahead and use it. <laughs> put my hair up so I don't get my hair in the glaze. Alright. So, last summer in August, was it August? Maybe July, I started writing a, uh, a romance novel. Paranormal romance novel. And I got the, the manuscript done, but I haven't uh, revised it. So, I've been meaning to revise it and get myself on a schedule, but uh, one thing after another has come up, so that's my New Year's resolution was to uh, get that um, book revised so that I could try to publish it. So, this morning, we're going to talk a little art for the Magic Twinkle page. Um, I've reborn a few dolls this year. Well, last year, December, finished them. And uh, I need to focus on the book. But I can't keep my hands out of paint, so... I got the paintings, I got the dolls, and I got the book. <laughs> yes, you you talking to? Tell them. Tell them. And uh, my niece came to live with me. She's got some catching up to do on some schoolwork, so uh, I got to help her with that, make sure she stays on task. But... Uh, Oh goodness, my puppy's trying to play with the cat. He gets feisty in the mornings. So this is a pour paint that she did. It turned out beautiful, I think. And uh, with the pour paints, I particularly like to um, gloss over them to give them that wet look. So that's why I'm using resin. And it's like a science project. You have to half and half it and aerate it and then put it all together and mix it up again. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy. COVID has uh, affected the world and everybody personally on some level I've had some family members get it. And, uh, so far, everybody's recovered, but we're trying not to get it because uh, I have autoimmune issues and I'm waiting for the vaccine to be available. Uh, so in the meantime, kind of doing my normal antisocial stuff and 
working with art. Art keeps me company. So I've got that mixed up. Should take about, I think it's three days to cure fully. And I won't, I'll have to throw this brush away after I do this because it won't, uh, it will turn hard as a rock and not be useful no more. I'm looking for suggestions for me to draw something up and paint it. Um, what was the last thing I painted? I think it was a panda bear. I painted a panda bear last, pretty sure. And a mermaid tail. My uh, tenant, she's a single mom with uh, three kids at home right now. She has five children. Two of them are grown and three are home. She's a hard-working mama. She loves the ocean, and so I made her a mermaid tail for Christmas. And then this one Emily did. I just kind of showed her how to do it, and she took off, and she did it. I mean, this is her first pour paint. So, I think this is a good job. I'm sending her good vibes today. She's a new student in the middle of the year, on a random day in July, or no, January. Sorry. My brain, I say the wrong words a lot, but I mean something totally different. January. Just make sure the cat doesn't jump up on this table and try to walk all over this. Oh, what a mess that would be. Ooh, wee, that would be a mess. <laughs> this is with acrylic pour paints. Okay, Faya. Mama Poodle over there doesn't want to, the puppy playing with the cat, so she thinks she's going to be boss of it. I like making trinkets with the resin too, but uh, today I'm just going to varnish it up with the resin so that it will be lasting and glossy. Super glossy. I'm glad I put my hair up because I don't want it to stick any hair or debris gets in this gloss you can't get it out if you don't catch it pick it out with a toothpick can't get it out when it dries you're so rowdy then you're so rowdy look at how pretty that is want to make sure that it's got a pretty even coat and that way it kind of levels itself without being too much. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I think this is pretty much. There you have it. A little debris got there. They're fine. They're not hurting each other. Okay. okay, so I gotta throw this away and look at how much varnish I have left. So like a little goes a long way. But uh, I am going to... Okay, Faya. Probably pour what's left of this in a little mold. Let me get, pull out the mold real quick. you there uh, upstairs. No, no, here it is. Good 
deal. I really hope I have more holes. I think I'm gonna pour it in the uh, sea, the sea molds. Okay. I'm gonna pour it in the seahorse, the mermaid tail. So that'll make several trinkets. I'm gonna pour some glitter on top and wipe off the excess into the other mold. There we go. It is uh, a new routine. I'm up kind of early because I had to take uh, Amy to school. And uh, I didn't have anything planned organized for this video. It's just coming on. As I go. <laughs> Alright. Now I can throw this brush away. I'm going to put this on the table to dry. Alright, that's going to take a couple days. Let me show you a better angle. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Emily's first paint pour. So, there we go. <laughs> My Emily, good girl. Try to have her be productive every day either with school or something. Okay. I'm throw these away. They're gonna be no good. go messy uh, cook and messy artist <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm going to try and channel my uh, creative juices and get into the writing mood because uh, sometimes you know you're just not feeling it and, and writing for me is one of those things that <clears throat> I got to be in the mood for So, I want to give uh, my characters and story the uh, thorough attention that it deserves so that I know that I gave it my best. So, I'm going to work on my story. There you go. There's Emily's pork paint. Isn't that pretty? We did this yesterday. It dried overnight. And now this is going to take a couple days to dry. So I'm going to set up my laptop here and get into my zone. I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday and stay safe and healthy. And I will be checking in periodically. There you go.
We'll see what's next in the artistic journey. Okay. Be blessed, y'all. Thank you for watching.